Hello, hello. Good morning, everyone. Uh, I'm so glad for that performance. I'm sure many of us are now awake if the coffee wasn't working after last night. And yes, I am Osinachi. Uh, I'm a digital artist based in Lagos, Nigeria. And there are two reasons why I'm making this presentation today. Um, the first is that I am big on collaborations, as people know who follow me on Twitter and who know my work. And the second is that I was too lazy to actually sit down and write an article on this, so I'd rather just stand up and talk. And so, um, a little bit about my story. Um, I entered the NFT space, the crypto art space, uh, in early 2018 found out I was the first African uh, in this space. But also I found out that um, I was sort of meeting um, other digital artists in the space who before then had been rejected, if I may use that word, by the people in the traditional art world. So we met ourselves in the space and we sort of fell in love with ourselves and we thought to ourselves, this is now ours. We have to protect it, we have to love it, we have to build it. Well, we don't need these guys, um, fuck these guys, these gatekeepers, and all of that. And that was okay for a while. It was okay for a while to just be in that bubble, if you call it that. Uh, but then I realized in 2021, when I did my first collaboration with Christie's, where um, five of my artworks were exhibited at Somerset House in London, uh, at 154 Art Fair, the first time my work was being shown at an art fair, and I realized that it was important, actually, to hold collaboration above this idea of decentralization, because with decentralization, really, the promise is that um, you're more in charge, um, but at the end of the day, what you're actually doing, probably you are building another gate while you're trying to avoid the gatekeepers, you're building a gate for yourself and keeping um, yourself in. And that is the reality of decentralization. And so the power of collaboration allows for the crypto artist to focus on their strength. Because in the space, you're expected to be the super artist, the superman, the superwoman, the super person who has to sort of um, make the art, promote the art, uh, talk to collectors, sell the art, just talk about the art, and just do everything. But I believe that with collaboration, you can sort of focus on your strength, which is to create, and what you love to do is to create. And just like um, a, a, a speaker said today, um, you may not be an artist who is doing art full time, and so you actually need that time to do other things that you want to do, and collaboration offers that to you. And it, it, there are still people in the space who are thinking about decentralization just above um, collaboration. I believe that collaboration are the two feet with which we are going to get closer and closer to a more decentralized um, world. Benefits of collaboration, of course, like I said, you sort of focus on your strength. You get more audience to see your work. I never thought um, I was going to be given a chance in the traditional art world. When I was reaching out to the guys in the traditional art world, they said, yes, we love your work, but it's digital. So there were questions around digital art, there were problems around digital art, which of course um, NFTs have sort of offered uh, so solutions to. And with that collaboration I had in 2021 with Christie's for the first time, it sort of opened up my work to a whole new audience. People came from different parts of Europe to the art fair, walked into that room at Somerset House, looked at these works on the screen and said, what are these? And they were told, these are NFTs. And they read about NFTs and the only thing they knew about NFTs were the PFPs, CryptoPunks, and the rest of them. And this was an opportunity for them to learn about NFTs. And uh, for me also to have um, a wider audience who are aware of my work, who know my work, and who can probably fall in love um, with my work. And so, a call to action to, for all of us here who are uh, artists is that while we're thinking about decentralization, yes, we may get to a fuller decentralized world in the future, but right now, really, 
this is something that is supposed to be an adventure. And honestly, for six years, I've been having a great time in the crypto art space, um, meeting so many people, doing so many collaborations. And so it is really time for you to enjoy yourself, to have that adventure uh, by engaging in collaborations. No matter how big you are in the space, if, whether you are a crypto art OG or you, whatever, whenever you started, it is always important to go out looking for opportunities. I do that. I go out looking for um, opportunities. I go out, of course, looking for um, opportunities to collaborate. And for me, that is one way to even make my work better. Last year, through some of the collaborations that I've done in the past, I did a residency at the Toledo Museum of Art in Ohio. And that's the first time ever that they were having that residency. And that's the first time ever that an artist working in the crypto art space would have a residency with a legacy institution like a museum in that capacity. I spent about eight months in Toledo and I was able to create works there. I was able to create a physical work for the first time in my practice made in stained glass. It was a translation of one of my digital works. And these are ways that collaborations can sort of stretch you and bring out the best in you um, as an artist. And so um, I have some upcoming um, collaborations. Um, right now, there's the ordinal sale uh, by Sotheby's, uh, natively digital, and it is currently on, I think, uh, the auction closes in less than 15 hours. And I have this work there titled The Assumption, uh, Adama, which takes its root from uh, Guasino's um, uh, Assumption of the Virgin Mary. Guasino is an Italian painter. Also rooted in this work um, is my own heritage as a Nigerian, as an Igbo man uh, living in Nigeria. Uh, and so I encourage you to go bead, no matter how small the bead is, it will help um, in a long way. Um, also, I have a collaboration that is coming up with Units London, uh, where I'll be releasing three artworks. Um, so far, we're looking at uh, June for that release. And of course, the three artworks deal with um, the problems of of the, that we have in the environment today and how we as humans can actually help uh, make our environments better and just sort of create a sustainable um, environment for all of us. And a few other things that I have in the pipeline that I can't talk about now. And so this is just an encouragement uh, to artists to pursue collaborations because um, Tolkien in The Hobbit said, um, it is just a journey if it is only you, but when it's shared, then that's when you have an adventure. Um, thank you guys so much. It's been great being here. Thank you, Greta and John, uh, for this opportunity.